here are the two options for installing the fuel tank in the Dirty Birdie. This is a 16 ounce Debro tank. The first option is to go, is to install the tank from underneath. So there would be a, a piece of wood across these rails here at the rear to retain the tank and it would slip in like so. Then this plate would bolt in there. There are already some blind nuts underneath those motor rails. And that plate holds the nose retract, which would be permanently attached. So this would then lift out as one to remove the tank. And in this scenario, all the this this entire section here, possibly all the way through to the spinner would be a hatch with a number of screws that could be removed. So then to remove the tank for service, the hatch would be removed, then this piece, and then the tank would come out like that. The second option is for this to be permanently installed and the nose gear would screw in the bottom blocking all permanently installed. Then to install and remove the tank, it would go through this former here which is a pretty tight squeeze, but it can be done. Wouldn't be done. Wouldn't be something you, that would need to be done every day. But this would fit in like so. I haven't quite figured out exactly what would be up here to retain it. And obviously it needs to be, need to maybe have a stop there or something to stop it sliding too far forward. So that, would mean that the bottom blocking could all be one piece. However, feeding the fuel lines in through these holes down here in the firewall would be a bit tricky because there'd be, there'd be no access from the bottom here. But it's pretty tight. Need a, need, need a pull tab or something to get it back out the back. But it can be done.